हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू फॉरेंसी खान चैनल टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इम्पॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ हैंड राइटिंग द इम्पॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विच हेल्प अस इन आइडेंटिफाइंग वेन अ क्वेश्चन डॉक्यूमेंट कम्स फॉर एग्जामिनेशन इन द लैब वी बेसिकली ट्राई टू एनालाइज द हैंड राइटिंग एंड वी ट्राई टू पिन पॉइंट द पर्सन हु हैज़ रिटन ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन डॉक्यूमेंट हैंड राइटिंग आइडेंटिफिकेशन इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ब्रांच ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट फॉरेंसिक्स और क्वेश्चन डॉक्यूमेंट एग्जामिनेशन and writing is a conscious act since we all have been taught since our uh, nursery class how to write and we have also learned certain words and how to write sentences so when we have grown up for us whenever we are given instructions we don't need to recall much and we start writing because that particular sentence or word has been feeded in our brain so for us now even though writing has become a unconscious act but it is a conscious act since we have tried to acquire that particular skill and we have learned it so writing basically is made up of many habitual patterns which are basically unique to the individual and it mostly depends upon the person's habit or manners so these are the different handwriting features that are present in a handwriting abbreviations alignment arrangement connections pen lift pen pressure pauses punctuation rhythm shading tremors so whenever we get any particular document on which handwriting is present basically a handwritten document we try to analyze these features and then we further try to identify the handwriting by identifying the similarities and dissimilarities now the question arises what is handwriting identification why we need to study handwriting what's the use of it so handwriting identification is a discriminatory process discriminatory process means we are basically trying to discriminate a particular person on the basis of the characteristics or features that are present in the particular handwriting and we do discrimination on the basis of similarities or differences that are present in that particular handwriting and we do study handwriting because we want to get answers of certain questions and that question can be what is the education caliber of the writer were the given letters or documents written by one person are the signatures present on document genuine or forged so for ans- getting an answer of these questions we go for handwriting identification now before we move on to class characteristics and individual characteristics which are basically the main important characteristics that are present in any handwriting we first need to know that there are certain basic principles on the basis of which handwriting examination is based first is every handwriting has individuality no two persons can write alike that is exactly alike and this is because each and every person has different upbringing emotional quotient and moreover uh some people have been trained from their childhood to write particular words in different uh way while some people do put embellishments in their handwriting so from there we can say that every handwriting has individuality apart from that there are always natural variations in the writing of a person now natural variations are variations that are present in a handwriting whenever we are asked to do our signature uh twice or thrice on a particular check or on a particular document you must have seen that although the length and breadth of the signature is alike but there are certain differences in our signature since we are human beings and not computer so whenever we are asked to write a particular spelling or a particular s- signature it will be not exactly alike because our signature or our writing de- basically depends upon our mood and on our emotional quotient too so that's why we can say that every handwriting will be having natural variations apart from that if two writings are written by the same person then there m- might not be certain fundamental divergences fundamental divergences means there there will not be certain apart differentiation i mean that person will be writing exactly alike not something uh, new apart from that if a person is trying to forge or disguise a particular writing or signature then that person will try to introduce variations in slant or he will he or she will try to incorporate new features so that they don't get caught 
and in certain cases it is not possible to identify the forgers in all forgeries because that person might have committed the crime in a very neat and clean way so these are the basic principles on the basis of a handwriting examination is followed now whenever we are going for handwriting identification we try to follow the law of ace that is analysis comparison evaluation so in analysis uh, whatever question document we have got and the known items that can be the samples which we have collected are analyzed examined and studied uh, and then we try to reduce it to a matter of discriminating elements then the next step is comparison so after we have observed or collected all the discriminating elements that are present in the unknown and known item we try to compare the features and try to uh, mention it in our logbook that what are the similarities and what are the dissimilarities and then in the last step that is evaluation we try to go for the similarities or dissimilarities and we try to uh, identify the likelihood of occurrence of each similarity and dissimilarity and we try to analyze the weightage of those features now the question arises what are class or system characteristics in handwriting now class characteristics from the word itself it's clear that it will belong to a particular class now if 30 people are studying in a particular section and they have been taught a particular subject uh, where they are asked to write but certain things in codes so we can guess that those people whenever they will be asked to write that particular topic they will be writing in the codes so that will fall under the char char characteristic of class characteristics where a particular group of writer are depicting uh, similar qualities now apart from class characteristics and individual characteristics there is also a term called national characteristics and on this particular topic still research is going on uh, it basically uh, says that to an extent that writing system within a country shares certain common features so here we are trying to say that a person or people belonging to a certain nationality or certain place will be depicting certain class characteristics that will be belonging to that particular nation so it will come under the category of national characteristics then what is individual characteristic so individual characteristics are basically those discriminating elements that will help us in identifying a particular individual from a pool of people and the individual characteristics uh, which are present in the handwriting can be the dot that is present on the i bar present on the t how the person has started that particular paragraph whether there were pen pauses tremors were there so all these features will be analyzed and they fall under the individual characteristic of a handwriting so let's start with skill level so skill whenever we are going for handwriting examination we try to analyze the skill of the person who has written the signature or the document so here in the slide you can see that there are two pictures one writing is not neat and clean and the other one is quite sophisticated so from there you can see that a person who is having high skill it means that person is knowledgeable and he or she has studied a lot we can say that so in this particular skill level we will try to analyze whether how the handwriting looks and whether the person was highly skilled or low skilled it will help us in disc identifying the person from a pool of people then slant slant means basically the angle of writing whether it was leaning forward or backward next feature is form form is the way a writer makes a letter whether he is writing in capital letters or how he is making particular n t i so it will uh, be falling under the category of individual characteristic now how the movement and pressure of the pen was there because if you are applying more pressure uh, on your document using your pen then obviously we can see indented impressions on our document and moreover how we are moving the pen it will also help us in trying to uh, see how a particular letter was formed then baseline alignment so baseline alignment is basically when we are writing a paragraph or line on line document or we can make or if the person is writing on a4 size sheets where the document is blank and then he or she has been asked to write then from the baseline where that particular uh, sentence is going on whether it is uh, 
sticking to the baseline or it is in between the both lines then the next feature that we try to assess is pen lift how many pen lifts were there when the person was writing that particular document so pen lift will occur when the person is lifting the writing instrument it can be pen pencil if more pen lifts are there then obviously the strokes will not be smooth or there might be interruptions present in the paragraph then how much pressure has been applied while writing on the document since pen pressure is the average weight or pressure that has been applied during writing so if pen pressure has been imposed then obviously we will be seeing certain indented impressions on the back of that particular document apart from that uh, it is also an individual characteristic because some people apply light pressure some people apply medium pressure and some people apply heavy pen pressure so it is also an individual characteristic then punctuation marks now punctuation marks are quite important because sometimes uh, people who are more educated and who have good skill level they try to impart uh, different punctuation marks in their paragraphs and a person who is low skill level and who does, doesn't know the rules of grammars then that person will be missing those punctuations so from we also try to look at these features uh, when we are going for handwriting examination what next characteristic is rhythm so rhythm is defined as regularity in the curvature of writing so whenever we are asked to write a document and we start with a free flow then that will be considered as rhythm and whenever we are writing in rhythm there will be quite free flow in the handwriting and there will be less pen pauses also and the last characteristic which i am going to discuss today is tremor now tremors are basically involuntary shaky movements uh, uh, which are present in the handwriting and it it might be because the forger was uh, scared when he or she was uh, trying to copy the signature or it can also be uh, due to the fact that the person was old in age or the person was suffering from certain illness so tremors can also be found in the handwriting if a person is trying to forge a signature forge means copying uh, trying to copy a signature or sometimes uh, tremors are deliberately incorporated in the handwriting to misguide the question document examiner so i hope these particular features will help you in becoming a good question document examiner uh, or whenever you get a question document you can try to make a list of these features and then you can identify whether certain similarities were present with the question document and the collected sample or not so if you liked the video and you it helped you in certain way then please do like and subscribe our channel and also share it thank you